Look at the hooves. Look at that. Oh.
Guys, I did not get it on camera. This bird come back in here and never once said a word right through this thicket right here. I shot right through this hole. I barely hit him. I ran right through here, guys. I ran right here. He's, matter of fact, let's range it. Cause I'm actually curious myself. Here's my range finder, guys. Let's range how far this bird is. 64 yards, guys. Boom, smoked him. Let's go, baby. Let me tell y'all guys something. I have hunted Florida. Three weeks into their season, Mr. Bird freaking sucks, man. Here it is this morning, guys. At 6.30 in North Carolina, I have four days left. I got him on the ground. This is absolutely incredible, man. I've hunted Florida, Alabama, North Carolina, South Carolina. Only bird that I've got on the ground. Check it out, baby. He come here a while ago, got spooked out, man. He went back. He is fucking a horse, guys. Look at this nice beer, man. I've worked so hard, man. In the last couple weeks, trying to get this bird, man, just trying to get a bird. He got a one time on the roost, guys. And if them ain't some hooks right there, oh my God, oh my God. Man, I can't believe it. I'm out of breath, so excited. Oh my God, guys. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's been so hard, man, this season. I never thought I'd get one. I have busted my tail, guys, to get a bird on the ground, to try to get a video. And he walked back in, and it happened so fast. I just said, I, I think I spooked him out of here. It wasn't 30 seconds later. He walked right back in. I popped him that fast. I mean, it's freaking insane. I got to show you something, guys. I was sitting over there. He's fucking huge, man. Oh, look at the hooks. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna tell you something, guys. This made my freaking morning, man. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you. I'll show you guys something. I was sitting back in this hole right here, guys. Right here. 
Look here. That's where I'm sitting. He come twice right here. I shot through this little hole right here. Freaking little hole, man. The second time he come, I bet I can't find his foot tracks, man. He was right in this area somewhere. Absolutely incredible, man. He's a freaking horse, man. Oh my God. Freaking beautiful. What's up guys, I just got back to my truck, man, with this bird. Um, it has been truly a blessing for me. I've been so many stakes of hunting. Um, I hunted four stakes in 28 days, man, and this is my first bird that I always got the opportunity to lay the hammer down on. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. He's got a full, beautiful fan, man. He's missing a feather in the middle. <laughs> But man, this is a big freaking bird, man. The freaking hooks on this summer gun. This hook right here is almost broke off, guys. Look at there. It is moving. But man, freaking hooks. Oh my God. If I had to say, guys, this is a 20, 20 plus pound turkey, hands down. Um. This is a big bird, man. Big bird. See this hook right here, it's about broke off. You see this crack right there, man. But it is a freaking hook. Oh my God. Beautiful bird, man. Absolutely incredible, guys. Apps, I mean, this is, I've done a lot of preparation, a lot of, man. The spot that I hunted, I had multiple turkeys on, man. I don't know what happened. It got boogered up. Two days before season come in, man, like on the 9th of April, it's the 26th of April, something like that. It's crazy. I had so many birds on camera. Two days prior, I got excited. Went in there over the day that Saturday morning, man, with the sun, and not one bird. I hunted four days, 30 some hours in four days. It might not be that much, but we hunted a lot, man. We hunted hard day, all day. We come out 6.30 in the afternoon, man. And never got the opportunity until this morning. This bird come in, he never even strutted, guys. I just turned my camera off because I knew it was gonna sit here for a while and didn't want my batteries to die and not get footage. And 30 seconds after I turned it off, I was not able to turn it back on. He come in running once again and I busted him, man. I didn't have no decoys out. I've been setting my decoys up. I've never got the opportunity with my decoys. The day I didn't bring my decoys to try to get some great video, guess what happens? Nothing. No decoys. He come running in, hauling tail, smoked him. Beautiful man. Beautiful bird. Huge bird. He got me one time on the roost. I text my wife. She said, baby, have you heard anything? I said, not a thing, man. Nothing. 10 minutes later, maybe in five, I text her back and I said, one just gobbled. I heard a faint fly down, very faint, but I wasn't for sure. He come in clucking. He spooked back out when he, I, I started clucking, doing a little bit, purr a little bit, doing a little, just small yelping. Just small stuff, man. He come right back in, man. Kind of moving in pretty fast once again. And I was able to smoke him, man. I'm gonna tell you something. He has a huge beard too, guys. Look how wide this thing is. I call that right there a paintbrush. That's the true meaning of paintbrush right there. He that that beard's two, two and a half inches wide. I mean he's a beautiful bird. 